As far as the drum beats go, for instance, what I play today, a lot of the things are based on, in DJ culture is referred to aim breaks, which is, comes out of breakbeat culture, which is uh, really was originally a, uh, a piece of music that was recorded or performed by like a drummer. But then it's been processed and edited by like a DJ ele electronically as it was sampled. So that aim and break comes from a break beat which was recorded originally, uh, I think in the late 60s by a band called the Winstons. And that was kind of like a gospel band. They had this funky boogaloo type of ditty. They had a break beat that um, went like this. It was like a cymbal beat, which was kind of unusual for that time, because usually all like the hip hop beats were dry hi hat beats, like like the funky drummer and all that. So, so that beat was really the first time uh, someone used a cymbal beat, which was a new sound in like hip hop, like Public Enemy, and the Beastie Boys used it. With sampling te technology. Or actually, before sampling technology, DJ started to speed up the record on the direct drive turntables and accidentally the tempo, like the, the quickest speed where they could play the record was uh, ended up that the speed played at 156 BPM. It was a total coincidence. But because of this and because it became popular, DJ started to program beats in, in that vein. So if I speed that, that beat up, So we have sort of like we arrive at that jungle sensibility. Now of course the, the, the sound also changes because it's sped up uh, and so it gets this like Mickey Mouse type of uh, char characteristic that we know from like jungle and like drum and bass. Once you have this in like a sampler you get really uh, more flexible and you can, um, you can integrate um, all the technique uh, in like sampling editing and you can apply it to that drum beat which is like a like deconstructing a sentence into the different words. So for instance, if you look at this... That's a sentence, and like, the, the words could be... That's one word. Or... So you have all those little phrases that you can rearrange in like in like any any uh, sequence possible. If you play with like a with like a sampler, and you know that you can trigger the sample from like from like the beginning by hitting the start button. So like that sentence will always repeat. That sentence will always repeat. That 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 sentence will always repeat. That 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 that, that sentence will always repeat. You do the same thing with like the drum beat. So So you get like a little dis displacements within within the beat, um, but you can also um, now use all those different elements and create completely new beats. Like for instance, Okay, so that's an example of a lot of the things that, that were going on um, earlier on. So of course, uh, there's many different ways to like apply that beat, you know, like uh, you know, change the sound with, like rim shots. I can find a lot of the things that I learned from Tony Williams or Jack Jack Dijonet or some of those guys. So it's it comes full circle, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm not trying to to imitate a machine. I'm trying to 
uh, you know, hopefully open doors so something new can happen.